What do you see? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing but love that will bring battle, blood and death. Well, I have never been in love before. And my people are not in dispute with any kind. So, where would the battle come from? I see it clearly, Princess. It is eminent. It started from a hand pinching a brave heart. It will be like a seed cast on a fertile soil. It will flourish and flourish. Then, the battle, the blood and the death will come. You haven't answered my question. Where would the battle come from? I answered your question, Princess. You apparently opened your eyes, not your ears. Well, speak in a language that I would understand. Where would the battle come from? The battle will come from that which your heart seeks dearly. No. It will swallow you and move you around like the whirlwind. Then you will crash like a rotten cocoa. I, Honor, the great daughter of the greatest warlock of our kingdom, the daughter of the wealthiest man of this kingdom, cannot be swept off her feet with a man's mere love. Honor, even your father, the great Ogidiga, in all his glory and stubbornness, was once a victim of love. Well, I have, I have never been in love with anyone, so there's not going to be any battle with that. We are not done talking about love that brings battle, blood and death. There will be no love, there will be no battle and certainly there will be no death. Princess, love is a beautiful thing. I have lived 102 years waiting for my love to return. That hope has kept me alive. Now that honor is what love can do. What? You? Over 102 years? Now, I definitely know you are lying. How can a young maiden like you have lived over 100 years? Go home, Anna. Tell your father, Ogiriga the Great, that you met a Jew here. The lady who saved me from drowning when was but a little girl. Now I know your tongues are definitely filled with nothing but lies. And if my father hears this, he will crush you under his feet. I don't even know why I came here in the first place. Blood and death.
Greetings, beautiful one. You're welcome. Sit down. You have come from Amai. You were right. You have powerful sights and seen the future. I knew the gods would take me to the right place. Be silent and listen. Noise is forbidden here. Here. Tell me the future. I do not read the palm. I want you to read my palm. I do not read the palm, young man. My daughter can attend to you if you want your palm read. What is the difference between reading the palm and should say? Do they not talk about the future? repeat myself, but just this once, this once, if you want your palm red, you will go to my daughter behind the house. I am a sweet sailor. If you want me to attend to you, pick up the cows and cast them on the floor. What is that look on your eyes? What no? You know what I'm talking about. Go to the back of the house, young man. My daughter will attend to you. the one greetings in greetings my son I am here to see the girl that reads palms my mother sent you to me sit down your mother no I am not here to see you. The maiden inside asked me to go to the back and see the girl that reads palms. Where is she? I am her daughter. I am the palm reader. You must be drunk, woman. I am not here to see you. Show me the woman that reads palms. If you want me to read your palms, sit down and open your palms. I saw only but a drunken old woman at the back of the house asking me to sit down and open my palms. Do not refer to my daughter as a drunk. She 
is your daughter? What is going on? Huh? What sort of prank is this? The old woman you saw at the back of the house is my child. My daughter. If you do not want her to attend to you, then you better go back home. I have told you. Certain things are forbidden here. Noise is forbidden. Don't talk to me in that manner. You do not tell me what to and what not to do in my house. Get out! Get out and do not come back. Mother, what is it? I heard you shouting. Get me water to drink. It's me. When I see him, I will conceive this affection of mine. And I will rave at him for touching my face. I will ask him, do you know the daughter of whom I am? Mother, what do we do for this young man? Take him outside. Go outside before you get my mother angry. Certainly it is obvious. Both of you do not know how to treat strangers. Go outside! Where you come from. I can take anything from you, but not you provoking my mother. Go! Where am I?
no one tells you to shut up. You are Obim. Obiasog. Do you remember what you did to Obani? Prince Obani. I still do not know what you are talking about. How will it sound to the ears that I, Honor, the daughter of the great Ogidiga, is standing on the village path waiting for a total stranger. Can you tell me what is going on? Shh! Silence. Obia song. Why haven't you crossed my path since you returned? Obiaso Ogu, I've heard that name before. My mother told me he was a great warrior. Do you know him? Do you want to know him? Yes. Do you know him? Yes. Can you cast some cowries and tell me more about him? Even though that is not why I am here. I do not need to cast cowries to tell you about Obi Asago. You are Obi Asago. My love. The minute you stepped in here, Something in me moved. Obi. Obi Asogo. I have been waiting for you. I am not Obi Asogo. I am Obi Mary. Stop acting like you're drunk. I am not drunk. And don't you call me drunk again. Then stop acting like one. You haven't changed. See. See what I'm talking about. You and that old woman are clearly drunk. Then get out of here. You are still the same rude, proud to be a soldier. Do you know what I have been through waiting for you? I have been lonely. You have made my mother cry. She hasn't cried in 60 years. Now get out. Six. Out!
Come on, guys. Okay. Obi Mary. Obi Mary, wake up. Wake up from this dream or it will eat your head. Wake up. He is the one. He came back long ago without letting me know. Without even crossing my path. If he is the one, then you should wipe your tears. I have seen the future. He will find it hard to love me. And when he finally does, his mother will not accept me. And when she finally accepts me, I will age in days. And my love for him will mean nothing. I know what to do. We should make him stay longer to believe us. Mother, help me. I will. Uh -huh. It's okay. Mother, stop crying. Sorry for shouting at you. I will not listen to you until I am sure that we are all dreaming. You need to know everything. I don't want to hear anything from you. Yes, you do. Or you would have come home. I just want to wake up from this dream. I want to wake up. I will help you to wake up from this dream. Come, follow me. Open your palms. I see love, tears, and love, and heartbreak. Yes. Mm. man loves me with all her heart, she will not break my heart. On the contrary, you will break her heart when you will go back to your first love, a woman you promised under an oath to love in death 
and new life. I have never taken any oath with any woman or promised any woman love apart from Lima. Yes, you have. It is clear here before me. The oath said, in death and in new life. You're talking rubbish! Talking old woman! A shrewd woman is waiting for you along the road. And she will steal one thing with so much value. Listen, I think I'm done listening to you and your daughter or whatever she is. I'll wake up from this room. Your life was taken away from you because of your stubbornness. And now you will want to stop it! Mother. Do you love him? I saw in his palm, he will come back for you. He will. Yes. Uh, no. I am from Ami. Well, I am Honor, the daughter of the great Ugidika of Anupa. Obi. Obi, Mary. So, what will you tell me about this man standing before me? I am just a man. Struggling to understand the existence of the things around him. And say you're coming. I have to be on my way now. Uh, let me walk into the pantry. I wouldn't mind. Of 
her name is Olumma. She's the most beautiful woman I have ever seen. Honor! Honor, please wait! Please, I was only trying to say... That you don't feel anything for me. Or that I appear too cheap for you. Do you know how long I stood under the sun waiting for you? I'm going home. Your heart keeps telling you not to obey your legs. Meet me under the tree tomorrow if you want to see me. Love the utah, I will go see me monaro. Love my kakwa, I will go see after monobi mo. She suddenly feels something for me. It's not possible. No. It's not possible. At least I have something for my time wasted. I have told her to come see me since she said she has feelings for me. No. Ulima will see her. Hmm. Yeah. Ojugu said I'm her lover in the past. Why is everybody obsessed with me today? Why is today mixed with confusion and unreal things? And what huh? is unreal about today? Lima, I didn't see you coming. Why do you look worried, nervous and pathetic? No, I'm fine. You met a woman today. Who is she? No, I did not meet any woman. Why? Do not lie to me. I was told the day your love for me will be divided is the day the talisman on your wrist will disappear. What? I, I don't know what happened to it. I, I don't know where I misplaced it. So, to give the talisman I gave to you to another woman? No. I did not give it to any woman. Then, who was the woman you spend all of your day with? Honor! You thief!
Running to. He has started seeing another woman, and I will not forgive him until he swears never to do it again. Another woman? Have you come so soon to say you're sorry to me? Where is my talisman? Talisman? What talisman? It was on my wrist when you hugged me. You were a careless man. And I did not see any talisman on your wrist when I hugged you. The last time I saw a talisman on your wrist was at Ojugo's house. Maybe she has taken it away from you with magic. Well, I demand an apology. Will you come see me under the tree tomorrow? Will you come or not? from me. Where's my talisman? What talisman? Give it to me! I will hurt you! What are you talking about? Oh. What is wrong with you? How could you hit my mother? Huh? The woman you met along the road, the talisman is hidden under her left arm. Now let's see. Until you come here and crawl on your knees, you shall come face to face with pain every day of your life. You are wicked. Oh. Mother, sorry. Sorry.
Greetings, Nari. Greetings. What is chasing you? Ah, no, nothing. Please, I'm looking for the house of Ogidi Girl of Anupa. Oh, Ogidi Girl of Anupa? Yes, yes. You are in Emore right now. Okay. Go, go straight. When you get to that tree over there, okay. just turn right. Okay. You Thank you. Thank you. Uh, open it well. Well, can tell. What a sweet up one. Very good. <laughs> you see? The tapa is a very good one. Greetings, Father. Yes, sir. Uh, Honor, where have you been since morning? I went on a tour on the outskirts of our village. And you went alone? Yes. And I was unfortunate to meet Ojugo, the fortune teller. Ojugo? Ojugo? Yes. Father, the woman is ridiculous. She told me she once saved your life from drowning as a little boy. She's such a clown. Where's she? Huh? Where's she? Where's my talisman? What is wrong with you? Are you still calling me a thief? I'm already angry because I have been cursed. Give me my talisman or I will cut off your head. Excuse me, young man. What is it? Do you know whose house you are in now? I don't care where I am or whose house I am. Tell your daughter to give me what you stole from me. I'll cut him out! I'll kill somebody before you! I didn't steal from you! I did not steal from, from you! Huh? Don't mind. Get out of this house before I see your head! Out! What your action has cost me today? Do you know a curse has been placed on my head? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I just wanted you to come back. I love you. No, you don't love me. You don't steal from people you love. I did not steal it. I I just took it. I took it. Yes. You took it. You grabbed it. You fingered it. Stop! Obi. 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 Love the uta, awelu kose me muna ruo. Love makakwa, awelu kose ata muna obi muo. Who was that young man? May you not hear with me when he walked in. Ona did say that she saw Ojugo, the fortune teller. That has actually left me in confusion. That is not possible. It's not possible. She's... She said that Ojugo saved you from drowning. Is it true? I can remember vividly that the lady saved me from drowning when I was born. But I do not know where she came from. My daughter, what is it? Nothing. Nothing. Lima. Please. Please, I'm sorry. Someone stole it from me. What makes you think you can lie to me? You spent the whole day with her and gave her the talisman. That's not 
I went on a mission. What mission you did? Who is Ona? She, she's a woman I met on my way to Jigo's house. And you expressed your love to her with a gift I gave you for her love? Oh. Oh, please believe me. She stole it from me. No woman can steal anything from you if you do not slip into her bed. Stop it. Stop accusing me. I did not slip into anybody's bed. Stop accusing me. I've been so faithful to you. Are you shouting at me? Get out and do not come back. Please, 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 let go for me. Please. Can you tell me what is going on? Tell me! Uh, uh, a, a woman from Anukba stole my talisman. What are you talking about? A woman from Anukba stole from you? How is that possible? What is wrong? Where have you been? Nothing has gone wrong yet, mother. Nothing has gone wrong yet. Did you have problem with Ulima? Hmm. Your food is inside. It's a dream day today. I hope I'm dreaming. All this had better be dream because that woman cause might come to pass. What dream are you talking about? And what cause? There is no problem yet, mother. This is the problem with you. You keep a lot of secrets. Mother, there is no secret. Can you please tell me who laid a curse on you? Did you beat an old woman? I went to see Ojugo, the fortune teller. Ojugo, the fortune teller. Are you all right? Yes. Mother, I am all right. Ulema asked me to go see her. I went there and strange things happened. Ah. That is not possible. Ojugo, the fortune teller, only exists in folk tales or in the dream of the innocent people. Ojugo doesn't exist in reality. Mother, Ojugo exists in reality. I was in the house today. Now I know you are really dreaming. Yes. Mother, oh. Mother are, are you saying we are all dreaming? Go and break the fire away for me. Did you say 
Ulima asked him to go and see Ojugo. I know it must be Wada that initiated this idea. Yes. Why would they send my son to such a dreamland? No. I have to caution her. I have to caution Wada. Now they've left my son daydreaming. No. Mm -mm. I have to caution Wada. I have to caution Wada. If you had listened to me when he was calling around you and accepted another man as husband, <laughs> You would have been crying the way you are doing right now. Mother, I love him. <laughs> you love him. Does he love you back? Because if he loved you, he wouldn't have slept with another woman. Because true love is jealous. Ulima! Ulima! Did you send my son on a vague adventure to see your Jugo? A woman that doesn't exist! Is that why you come to my house with a quietness? Your son wanted a beautiful woman to wife. So he had to go on such an adventure. Wada, how could you? You put that in front of me. I knew it. I already know you are the one that initiated this plan. You and I know Ojugo doesn't exist. Wada, you. Wada and Gimwa! And who says she does not exist? If anything happens to my son, if anything happens to my son, I repeat, Mwada, I will deal with you. Mwada, I will deal with you. You don't come to my house to have threats. You know what I'm capable of doing. You can do nothing. Get out and go. Mwada, you can do nothing. What if you get me? Mwada, what you cost? You see? <laughs> Useless of that comes to my house to trust me. <laughs> and you keep quiet. <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> you see what you call that Lily Levi would have come to my house to talk to me. <laughs> Threaten me in my own house. Oh shut up, Mimi here. <laughs> Shut your mouth! He called me beauty from the gods. Oh, no. <laughs> I've seen you this happy in a while. He is so handsome. My heart leaps each time I think of him. You yeah, know? Yeah. Maybe it's more than love. I can't explain it. It is love. It is love mm -hmm. at the right time. Exactly. Love at the right time. <laughs> I'm happy for you. Thank you. What is his name? <laughs> his name is Obi. Obi uh, Mary. me, he will come back crawling on his knees by sunset. What if a notable man is secretly occupying him? No. No. You might get rid of this thought from your head. Get rid of it. What is wrong? Yes. From what I heard, he actually saw Ojugo. Do you know I never knew Ojugo is still alive all this while? Wada. Yes. 
when you came here to ask about the fate of your daughter and Obina, did I not tell you to let them be? You did. It will be maybe too poor to marry my daughter. So, what do you want me to tell you? I will not say anything. Until you come here and crawl on your knees, you shall come face to face with pain every day of your life. <coughs> Son, you are still awake. Yes, mother. I have come to understand that today was not a dream after all. Because face to face with strange reality. Uh, apart from Ojugu, is there any other thing you want us to talk about? Yes. Please tell me about Obiasogu. Obiasogu is a warlord in the ancient stories. Yes. So where is he from? He lives in the stories. That's all I know. Tell me about the story. My son, it is late. Okay? Besides, I don't know the whole story. I see. My mother does not know the story about Obiasogo, but she knows that Obiasogo lives in stories. Alright. Can go to bed. Mother, please eat your food. Mother, you wouldn't want to eat this food when it is cold. So eat. I do not need to cast cowardice to tell you about Obiaso. You are Obiaso. My love. The minute you stepped in here, my heart skipped. Something in me moved. Obi. Obiasogu, I have been waiting for you. I am not Obiasogu. I am Obi Mary. Stop acting like you're drunk. I am not drunk and don't you call me drunk again. Then stop acting like one. You have changed. Obiasogu, he hit me with his sword. He has forgotten the pain I went through for his sake. He has forgotten all of the sacrifices I made for his sake. Mother, you, you want to make me cry. He has forgotten. Obiasogu has forgotten. How can he forget? All the pain I bore for his sake, how can he forget? <coughs> Anna. Father. Tell me, where did you say you went to today? 
Father, I went to see Ojugo, the fortune teller. I went to find out why I don't feel anything for men. But it turned out to be my greatest virtue ever. Even though that woman's tongue is filled with lies. Oh no. Probably you were dreaming. Or you got drunk somewhere and you began to be dream about the whole tale of Kojo. But I want to warn you. Don't ever say such thing or say anything about Ojugo again in this house. Father. Do I make myself clear? Father, have I ever lied to you before? I have not said so, but I don't want to ever see you become a liar. Do I make myself clear? Let me go and have my sleep now. Why are you asking this? Because I want to know. This is a figment of your imagination. Figment of my imagination? I do not want to believe that this dream lingers on. Dream? What dream? to ask for your forgiveness. I do not want to hear you speak. Go home to your father. I am sorry. You are sorry. Do you know what your madness has put me into today? I was caused by that old drunken woman at Otoko's house. Look, I know what we can do to reverse the cause. Go home to your father. Mm. I don't want to talk mm. to you. It cost me a lot already. Oh. Greetings, me. You're welcome, my daughter. You are not from this village. I am from Anupa. Uh -huh. Yes. Your people are known for their beauty. But yours is beyond words. It is astonishing. Yes. Thank you, Ne. Thank you. You're welcome, my dear. Obi, get her a seat. Let her sit down. Mother, she does not need a seat. I need a seat. I want to sit down, Mother. Ne, please sit. Thank you. Thank you. I want to have a moment. I will not let you stay here. Where did you see this beautiful lady? I she told you her she's from Anupa. This kind of woman home. I wouldn't mind giving you all my support. At least mother and her daughter Ulima will stop tormenting your life. Mother, nobody's tormenting my life. Please let me go and continue what I was doing. Then go and get her something to eat. She does not need food. Daughter. 
think I have to go now. You want to go now? Yes. Mm -mm. Ah. Obi, go and see her off. Mother, she did not say she wanted to see her off. Uh, Obi, I want you to see me off. Uh -huh. My daughter, greet your mother for me. I will. Mm. Thank you so much, Nene. You're welcome, my daughter. <laughs> Do you realize I am a woman and I need to be understood? I don't have time to understand it, Chief. Stop calling me that! What is wrong with you? Who do you think you are? Do you know the daughter of whom I am? Or is it because I'm crawling and begging for your forgiveness? Who is your father? Are you talking to me like that? Is this how corny you could be? By making me feel guilty after you have stolen from me? I guess you know your will. Please go. Do not walk out on me. No one walks out on me. Men like you bow and crawl at my feet when I walk past in Anoba. This is not Anoba. You are a lunatic. Don't let me press my hand on you. Well, I am not done talking to you. I am not done talking to you. What is wrong with you? What are you scared of? You're scared of falling in love with me? I do not love you. I can never love a rude and proud woman like you. Obi. Let me go. Leave me alone. Don't let me push you. Stop behaving like a child, Obi. Let me go. Come let on, Obi. I love you, Obi. I am madly in love with you. Can't you see? I knew it. I knew you were this chip. Well, you started being cheap first. Yes, you started being cheap from the very first day you laid your eyes on me. Obi, I love you very much. I am caught up in your web of love and it holds me family. I don't care if you've fallen in love with the gods before. Let me go. Don't let me push you into the bush. Well, push me. Push me, Obi, and prove to me that you're a woman bitter. Where is my daughter? She's not in her heart, my lord. And where did she tell you she was going to? She said she was going for a walk. Why didn't you go with her? Eh? I was making your soup, my lord. Thank you. 
I'll go to her maternal home and look for her there. Yes, my lord. Hurry up. It was an accident. Accident? What type of accident? Did she jump down from a hill or from on top of a tree? No, I, I pushed her. You pushed her? Ha, Obi. When would you learn to control your temper? It was an accident. Stop saying that. Now tell me. What do we tell her people when they come looking for her? Tell me. Look at what you did. Mother, I'm sorry. Please let's take her to Tibia. Hi. You have to take care of her while I go to the Tibia myself and get some herbs. Hmm? Keep massaging her waist. Do it here, here. Eh? Start doing it again. Mother said you should massage my waist and not touch my face. I am sorry for pushing you. I forgive you, my lord. What did you call me? My lord. Soon you will be caught up in this web of love. Maybe then you will give me a name too. I came as soon as I had. It was urgent. What is it? Oh no, my daughter left this house this morning. And I don't know where she has gone to. Mm -hmm. Have you sent somebody to her maternal home? I have. And she's not there. Could it be what I'm thinking? What? He could have gone back to Ojugo. Ojugo? Yes. I didn't believe it when she said she met Ojugo. 
Let us go and see to ourselves. Where do we go to? How do we find her? When we get to her village, we ask people. Yes, I'm back. So she could drink this. Okay. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Ah! Sorry. Oh, my waist. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, your man is Sorry, sorry. sorry my sorry. dear. Uh, you have to drink this now. You have to drink this. Yes. It will reduce the pain. Manage. Manage. Manage and drink it, my dear. Huh? Manage. More, more. Drink so that you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm. Drink more. Drink more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, oh. Is that not a Ogi Diga of Aku? Yes, I am. Who are you? <laughs> I'm Ezana. And the man you gave some money seven years ago, not by keg of pan when God broke up. <laughs> I'm very sorry. I, I can't remember because I have given money to so many people. Oh, oh okay. Um, what do you seek in this land? Yes, I have come in search of my dear daughter that uh, told me a story about one of Jugo as she was coming to visit here. I don't know if there is another Ojugo or the very Ojugo she told me about that is a fortune teller. Mm -hmm. Children, they only seek to do everything. The Ojugo I know in this kingdom died long ago. She is not history. We only tell story about her because of her famous nature. I told you that Ojugo does not exist in this land. <laughs> I told you. I told you that my daughter Honor has jilted her, 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 her friend. She has gone away with that boy. I told you this. Where can we find her house? Mm, her house could be found at the outskirts of this village. And uh, needless for you going there because nobody lives there. Don't waste your energy and time in going there. You cannot find anybody there. Anyway, thank you very much. Okay, you are welcome. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Uh, if not for your mood, I would ask you to follow me home so I can taste some wine. No, I am not in the mood right now. You are not in the mood. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. Drinks. Okay, if you say so. If you say so. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. thank you. <laughs> uh, um, Okay, um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Go well as you go, huh? Be careful. I insist that we go for a house. Look for whose house? A dead woman's house? Huh? We, we just have to go now. Please, yeah. let us you mean go. Yes, let us go. Anyway. I know what to do. Anywhere I find that boy, anywhere I find him, if I get hold of that boy, I am going to destroy him. In fact, that boy, I'm going to kill him. And I'm going to kill him. 
I am going to cut off his mouth. Honestly, let's go. Okay. No, let's go. Um, uh, Yes, my lord. You have always been a very good maid. Do you know Ona's uh, secret love affair? No, my lord. I can swear with my life that Ona has not shown me any man as her lover. I can also swear that she's not in any affair with any man. Shut up your mouth. Rubbish. You are talking rubbish. I now know that you are under her oath. But I tell you, you must tell me where she is and who she is with. Believe me, my lord. I don't know where she has gone to. Leave my presence immediately. Get out! Get out of my presence, quick! Take it easy before you break the waist again. Put your leg on the bed now. Put my leg where? Eh? Put my leg where? You have to help me down. Ah! Ah! Obi! You want to scatter the, the waist you've broken already? Ah! Oh, what are you trying to do? Why don't you lie down? Do you want to lie down on this small bed? This bed cannot contain you and I. Sleep on the floor. Mm -hmm. Sleep on the floor. Oh. You broke my waist. Now you want to come and lie down on this small bed. I won't be comfortable now. Stay on the floor. My heart will stay forever. I will wait. Strange Don't tell me you're still crying over that stupid boy. Why have you not come to see me? Because he is very irresponsible. Because he's very irresponsible. That is why you should stop crying. Lie down and sleep so that you don't disturb my own sleep.
Your body is warm. So how are you feeling now? I feel a lot better today. Let me bring your medicine. Mm -hmm. I want to go home. My father will be worried by now. this morning. I'm a lot better than you. Thank you. Thank you, girl. Thank you. Obi, go and get her wraps. Go in and get it. Wanda, she said she wants to go home. You have to wash your mouth and face first. Then eat before you go. Obi, go, go. Go and get her water to wash. While I quickly prepare the meal. I think I have to go and prepare the meal. Get water. Yes. I'll see you all. No, you will take me home. You were the one who broke my waist in the first place. I could have walked home comfortably, but I can't. I'm in pain. Alright. I'll stop at the boundary. You will take me home. As a matter of fact, you carry me on your back. I can't walk. Ah, Obi Mary. Why not take her home? Eh? You can stop and get some rest when you are tired. You know? Mother, she saved you. I know. I trust you. I know you can do it. Eh? Try your uh, best. Eh? You know what? You can go now. I'm coming. Uh, greet your mother for me. You know? <coughs> Try your best. Eh? I'm coming. Uh -huh. Woman has been occupying you. No, it's not what you think. I'm only helping her home. You're helping her home, and she's resting her whole body on you. She's even caressing your chest. I will not forgive you easily for this. I will not. What are you trying? Is, is... Let me explain. Okay, I don't want my leg to touch this ground. I was on my own and you came and broke my waist. Please take me home, baby. You have to take me home. You have to take me home.
Pobytek mi w łuk. My daughter to your house to sleep with her. No, 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 father, father, I can explain. Shut up! What? Get! Don't! He didn't even touch me. Shut up your mouth! Shut up! Touch me! Get out! Go into the hut now! Out! I said. Lucky I did not cut off his head or his manhood. disappointed me. You allowed that total stranger to take you home and took advantage of your entire body. And you have forgotten where you come from. No, you have forgotten the kind of person your father is. Father, father, you have to hear me out first. You shut up your mouth. Listen and listen very good. I don't want to ever see you Anywhere with that useless man. Or even in this compound. And from henceforth, never you step out of this house unless I tell you to do so. Father! Oh, get out of my presence. Get out of my presence here. What problem is this? Eh? Where could he be? Look at. Look at the weather. Now you're the cozy. Udako. You looked worried. What is it? Yes, I am worried. I'm worried about Obime, my son. He left for Anupa since morning. I don't know what is keeping him. What has he gone to Anupa to do? He took Anna back. Who is Anna? She is the daughter of Ogidiga. I don't think I know him. Now, nice, please, you have to follow me to Anupa to look for him. Biko. Oh, Udako. You know they are doing their choco masquerade ritual every day. We don't need to go there today. I will go there tomorrow. No, I don't want anything to happen to my son. Nothing will happen to your son. No. But uh, let me ask you. Is he in any form in affection with the maiden in question? If he is, it must be, in, they might be lavishing in bliss somewhere. Go home. Yeah? Go home. If he's not back until cock crow, I will go to Anoba myself and look for him. Go.
on me. Please. You have to eat your food. Stop thinking about him. I can't. I just, just worried. I, I fear if he's still alive or dead, he will be fine. Aluna, you can help me go look for him tomorrow and find out if he's still alive. Your father will just kill us. Aluna, you know you can help me without my father finding out. You know it. Please. I just want to know if he's still alive. That's all I ask. Where is my son? He, he is not home. My son left with you. And you are here asking me whether he is not home. Where is he? You mean he has not been back since yesterday? Honor, my son left this house with you. Where is my son? Where is my son? Oh no. Huh? Oh no. Oh no. Could it be? No. Could it be what? Could it be what, Anna? No. Anna, where is my son? Eh? Huh? <laughs> what happened to you? What happened to my son? Hey! Hey! Timo! Timo! What happened to my son? Hey! 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 Timo! She is still sleeping. She slept very late. And so? Honor! My lord, I'll wake her up when I'm done cooking. She said she's feeling cold, so I had to cover her with clothes. Honor, get. You know, Honor, I know you can hear me clearly. I want you to get that useless boy, that stranger, out of your mind. Because I will never forgive him. I am going to deal with him. In fact, I'm sure of that. Honor, you are going to deal with You have to watch over her. Let me go and get some herbs for her. Yes, hmm? my lord. I don't want her to step out of this house. Do I make myself clear? Yes, my lord. What are you saying? That your father attacked him with a sword? If my son is dead, tell me, so I can go and get his body. Tell me! He, he left the house yesterday. I don't understand how he's not home yet. Don't. I hope this is not happening. Hey.
Boil it and let her drink it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Daboma, greetings. This one you brought for your wood and water for me. Do you want anything? Yes. We want you to tell us a story. A story? Yes. Ozema, it's too early to tell stories. It's too early. Eh? Mwa, let's go. But I will not tell you a story today. Let's go. Is she still asleep? Yes, my lord. Have this. Boil it and let her drink of it. Yes, my lord. Where is Ogidiga? Where is Ogidiga? Where's Oginika? Oh, Oginika, where did you keep my brother's son, Obimere? What happened to him? I am asking you. Strangers don't come to my abode to bark like a dog. Your brother's son violated my daughter. I am not even done with him yet, and you are shouting, barking like a dog. Is that why you killed him? Where did you bury him? I don't know what you are talking about. I did not kill your brother's son. I did not bury him anyway. Go. Ask those who know me too well. I will set your heart ablaze. If you do not, tell me what happened to my brother's son, Obimere. Do it! Do it. And I will set you ablaze. Hey, Mama. Eh? Ogiriga. If you don't provide my brother's son, I will kill your daughter. Honor! Honor! You can't. Get up, get up. Get up, get up. Honor, get up. Honor. Alona! 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 Conspiracy! Conspiracy! So you lied to me? You, you lied to me? Where is Alona? What? Where? Will have fast. Oh no! You almost put me in trouble. What? Where's Ogiliga? Where's Ogiliga? Come out! 
Where is he? Where is Oginiga? Where is Oginiga? Tell me. Where can we find him now? He violated my daughter. Is that why you killed him? You would have done worse than that if you were in my shoes. Or would you have clapped your hands for a man who took advantage and defied your dear daughter? Father, no one took advantage of me or defiled me. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Father, I fell down and broke my waist. Him and his mother took me in and took good care of me. Father, let's go and look for him. What? Where do we find him? Where? Let the copy, my good old friend. Put it down. Sit your soul. Ask him to provide my brother's son now. We will join hands together and search for him. I hope we will find him. Yes, I will go home. But I will come back. With our warriors. These things you call hearts. We will set them ablaze. We will give you all. We will kill you. We <clears throat> have to do something. Do what? Do what? Get out of my compound now. Soria. This whole thing is my fault. It's my fault. Oh no. Please stop crying. You will be found. <laughs> what if he dies? What if he dies? Nothing will happen to him. I believe he's still alive. You just have to stop doing this to yourself. Please. <laughs> Don't make scene like this. Please stop crying. Have you come here again to insult us? I need your help. Please, go away. We cannot help you. I cannot help you. No, 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 you have to help me, please. You have to help me. If you don't help me, my father will be into lots of trouble. Shh. Don't wake my mother. Oh, 
I wonder why you are yet to open your eyes. Look at you, handsome and full of life. They did not say that I would die without a man. The gods have proven them wrong. I now have a man of my own. Yes. We have finished facing the water for our mother. Ah. Yes. Oh, Da, uh, uh, will you tell us the story of what Malaysia is today? No. I will tell you a story I have never told you before. It's all my fault, mother. Not your death. It's my fault. I will mourn you till the day I die, man. I have come to ask for a favor, a big one, and I'm willing to put my life on the line. Before you is the blood and the hair of the man I love so much. The blood and the hair of my mother. I want to unite with them in the afterlife. Are you saying you want to die? Enjoy them in the spirit world? Yes. There, I will ask forgiveness. And what happens to the seed of Ubiasog that grows in you? His seed truly grows in me? You are carrying your mother in your womb. And if you die, she dies forever. Then help me. I want to reunite with them. Please. The only way you can do that is to wait when they come back again. I will wait for them. What did you just say? My love for Biasogu is unwavering. I will wait for him. But there is a problem. 
your mother might return soon. But it will take many years for their soul to return. Echeteka. Great one. I have heard stories of how your grandfather brought Ochongala back to life. Made her younger than her mates and her offsprings. If your grandfather can do it, you too can do it. Please. <laughs> you are not Ochongala. And I am not my grandfather. Ochongala was his concubine. I am not too ugly to be your concubine for one night. Please. Next, find a virgin boy, lock him into your heart, make him swim in your river of dreams overnight. With that, his life and the lives of all that are coming up at him will be spread into you, and you will live forever. That is all. Have this. Have this. Spread this in your river of bliss before he swims in there. Thank you. How are you? I'm well. Hey. And you went to get firewood? Yes. I have this pain in my neck. Please, can you help me fetch water? Let me quickly keep this at home. I'll come and get you some. Thank you. Oh. Sorry about your pain. Gods of our land, do not punish me for this. Thank <laughs> you. 
You're back already? Yes, Dad. Oh, you keep the keep water at the back of the house for me. Okay. Dad, there, there's no water pots over there. Hey, there isn't. Yes. Very well then. Bring it into my room. Let me fetch you one more. Wait. Let me help you with that. Thank you. Is she here? Down, Juba. Sit down. I want to ask you a question. Talk to me.
have completed the ritual. What else should I do? Nothing else. Go and live your life. You will live forever. And younger and even prettier. Until the return of your loved ones. Thank you. That was how Ojibo became ageless. Where does uh, Ojibo live now? She lives in our house. Our stories. I will fetch some firewood for you so you can tell us another story tomorrow. Yes, you tell us if our mother came back. Yes, our mother came back. I will tell you the whole story tomorrow. Huh? Thank you, Dabo. Thank you, Dabo. You're welcome. You have to be easy. Um, please, get your mother for me. We will. Okay, then. Thank you. I know who we are. Please, I have come to apologize. She doesn't need your apology. Go home to where you come from. Would you go, my love? Our course shall go with you. Would you go, my love? Please forgive me. Please take this course away from me. Please. Give him some palm wine, child. I don't want to drink palm wine. Then you will never get my forgiveness until you do. Please. I will go and tell my mother that I have found a wife. 
I wanted my father to kill him. Ojugo, how possible is that? I heard rumors that she's still alive. How possible can that be? Ojugo died even before I was born. Udago, my grandmother told me stories of her. Did she tell you nobody knows how and when she died? Or where she was buried. Nobody tells you things like that in a folk tale. Now let me remind you what the seer said four days after Oyin was born. His greatness will come forth when he meets Ojugo. Ojugo, the fortune teller. Yes. But Ojugo does not exist. She does. She does. The fortune teller. Isin said that? Yes, he did. I never took it seriously until Obimere came back today to say he has found Ojugo. How true is this? That you came home with the news of getting married to Ojugo. I love Ojugo. My heart lives with her. What did she give you to eat? They are because you do not pretend as if you've not heard of the love story that exists between me and Ojugo in my first life. We are going for our marriage rite on AK Day. You and who are going for her marriage rite? You will follow me to her place. Of course, I will not go to a place that does not exist. Or to go assist, and I will marry her! You don't want me to tell you the truth. Is it going to be heard that Ojugo was never dead? Is it going to be heard that my brother's son, Obime, will marry a woman that has been existing in ages? Edekobi, people kill people in their stories. Are you saying? 
people kill Ojugu in their stories? Our grandfathers kill Ojugu in their stories. Do they not know that she's still alive? I will not answer that question. If you want to know if Ojugu is still alive, follow Obimere to the house. No, I will not go with him. It will not be heard of. No. It is your decision. Edekobe, please, let me attend to the gods. Please, my love, please, please don't leave me because of my father, please. You know I won't survive it. Please, I beg you, please. Please, don't come. Get off. Huh? No. I will not get up from here until you forgive me. I won't get up. Forgiving you, now get up. You have? Yeah. Thank you. Can I come and see you tomorrow? If you like. I do not want to tell him about it yet. Why? You have to quickly tell him so that he can come and pay your bride price immediately. No. I want to be sure I still love him. I want to be sure I've forgiven him. You're not sure you have forgiven him and you let me between your legs. Ulima, you have to go and tell me you're carrying his child. Because I will not spend anything raising this child for me. Are you here? I have good news. I thought we agreed to end it there. Yes, we agreed. I was so excited that I forgot about what we talked about. You should hear me out. So what is it? I am pregnant with your child. What? what did you say? Did you hear what I just said? I said I am carrying your child. Wait, does this news upset you? No! Oh, it's a good news. Uh, uh, oh, see, please, you have to go in. Eh? I'll come see you. I'll come over. Huh? She's lying, isn't she? Please. If you tell me she's lying, you must be Ulima. The one who thinks she's the most beautiful. You jumped and lured my man into your head. No, I did no such thing. You know, when it comes to matters of love and emotions, bed does not really matter. Obi, why? How could you make a fool of me? How could you be this heartless? I will never forgive you this time. I will not. Don't you dare go after her. If you do, I will get rid of this child.
What happened? <laughs> Did he deny it? That evil woman from Anita is pregnant for him too. What? <laughs> How about men be this canals? Huh? <laughs> men are evil. Myself. I just want to kill myself. I want to die. <laughs> you cannot kill yourself because of a dog. I know what to do. I want to die. I want to die. <laughs> That's all good. The mother came back as a big man. Tell me, what bothers you? Why did I come back? You came back for a purpose. And what sort of purpose will make me impregnate two women at the same time? Is Ujugu pregnant for you already? I wish she's the one pregnant. Hey, I know Loma's mother must have pushed her to get pregnant for you. But that will not stop you from achieving your purpose. But nobody wants to follow me there to do the marriage rites. There are men from that clan who are willing to follow you. Yes. Is here. Or do you go meet my mother? Can you remember me? Have we met anywhere? Yes, we have met before. I was the woman who almost died of snake bite, if not for you. I do not still know where I met you. We met at Ameke. Ameke? Yes. I've not been in America before. Then you look so much like the woman who healed me. So why are you here? Mother, like I said, Mojiko is my wife. She's her daughter. Her daughter? Yes. She's angry. She is. But we are not even here. Don't worry, don't worry. Listen. The truth didn't work. Did you use it on Ujuku? I couldn't look at her on the face. I used it on her mother. Her mother? Did she come with her mother? That is why I am angry right now. They came with loads. I, if I were you, I would have used some men to throw them out of my house.
It has happened. My son has finally brought that ghost home. Hey! Who could have allowed him to take her away without his kiss men being present? How do I know? All I know is that I want them out of that house. Udako, we are not going to take it with strong hands. For if we do, they might take his spirit away. Nay, you talk as if you want him to marry her. Udako, what you told me, what Isinu told you about them. Yes. I advise you, go home and live with them in peace. I should go home and live with them in peace. There will be no peace in that house. Yes. Then, do what you like. Eh, I will do what I like. Mother, you called me. Yes. What did you say about that old woman? You heard what I said. Ojugo is her mother. Wait. Is she the reincarnation of her late daughter or I don't understand? Mother, Ojugu is her mother. Is that why you called me out here? If she is the daughter of that good woman, that makes it all mysterious. I have to do something. I have to do something. How on earth is that possible? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? If we were thinking the same way, we wouldn't be here. What are you saying? Odago, you are a godfly. Remember what I told you a few days after the birth of Obimere? Why do you want to twist the wish of the gods? What I saw in my house cannot be the wish of the gods. It is strange! Udako! I do not wish to talk about this anymore. Please, you have to help me. I will pay you. No, 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 Nick. You don't need to pay me. I will do it. Hoping his mind back. Thank you very much. Thank you. How could you? How could you do this to me? You got me pregnant and went on to marry another. Why? You, you have succeeded in having him with your lies and fake fortune telling. What do you want? I want you to leave my man. I am pregnant with his child. That is good news. I will ask him to marry you as his second wife so you can bear us children. to kill yourself over this. I believe another man will be called. Another man will be called. That was the exact same thing you told me before he came. Now you see that evil, strange, or do you go? Oh no. I had a dream. In that dream, you were dancing with Obi and people. Plenty of people were clapping and cheering you up. You don't tell me that. Don't tell me that to suit me. Well, I had a dream too. 
and in my dream, Obi was drifting away from me into her arms. I may never have him again. You are wrong. You are carrying Obi's child. Honor. If I were you, I will go and leave with him, dear. Once you have him a child, he will have no other option than to send that evil woman away. You're right. I am going to give him a child. Yes. But another woman is pregnant for him. Another woman? Yes. And who is the woman? The woman from his clan. And that will not stop you from being his first wife. You are the daughter of Okedeka. No man, I mean, no man would want to make you his second choice. You're just saying that to give me hope. No man. You are hope. You are beautiful. Stand up. Stand up and fight for what is rightfully yours. Are you not going to say anything? What do you want me to say? You started all this, so you should find a way to fix it. Don't you dare raise your voice at me. I am saying the truth. Which truth? If you did not send up to Ojugo, this wouldn't have happened. How would I have known that Ojugo still exists? How would I have known that she's still alive? So, so you wanted him dead? You wanted him dead for loving me? You wanted him dead because you wanted to visit to marry me. But then why? Why? Why is it? What are you doing in my house? No. What are you doing in my house? What are you doing here? He's a big, the man I told you about. I know him. And I don't want him here. He has good intentions. He wants to marry me. He's a noble man. I said, I don't want him here. Young man, leave my house. Get out of my house. Go on. Willima. Willima. My love. I'm sorry about what my mother did. I am not angry with her. I might care so much about her. And I will do anything to do. Olima, I'm going to your house. I cannot remember inviting you to my house. I'll be waiting.
Yeah. My in law. <laughs> Welcome. Sit down. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I came in respect of uh, what we discussed the last time. Oh, I've told her everything. Okay. She's waiting for you. She can't wait to be your wife. Because she has no choice than to marry you. Because they're the best thing that would ever happen to her. <sighs> no. Mm -hmm. You have promised me this before. And I've been waiting patiently. You see, I hate embarrassment. The other time I saw her frolicking with that Reef village local champion. I hate being embarrassed. I keep my words. And I want your word to be your bond. Mine is my, my bond too. Don't mind her. It's only distracting her, but she's already your wife. She's made and prepared for you. She has no choice than to marry really encouraging me. Yes. <laughs> oh, Uli is here. What? Uli, come and sit here. Uli is here to see you. Uli, Ma, how are you? Ne. I have said it and I am saying it again. That I am not interested in any discussion that has to do with him. Uli, please come. Uli, Ma. Uli! Please, come on. She's only but a child. And she'll behave like a child. Don't worry, I have everything under control. She will marry you. No. Yes. I don't want to run out of patience. You won't. You know you stand to gain a lot if I become your end up. I know. I cannot be tolerating this all the time from her. <laughs> Please, do your work. I am doing that already. Thank you. Send me well to your father. Yeah, excuse me. Holy ma. Holy. If you do not let me marry Obi, I will kill myself. That boy is full of course. <laughs> Haven't you heard he came back to this life a second time with Omen? I know you're saying all that because you want me to change my mind. Ulema, why do you love him this much? Mother, he's a noble man. He's kind. In that case, send for him. I would like to see him. so much. What can you do to keep her alive? I'll do anything. There are stories going around that you came back to life a second time with Omen. Mother, please stop. <clears throat> if you doubt it, Go to Ojugo to see her. She will confirm it. And if she says you're destined to marry my daughter, come back. I will let you marry her. Ojugo? But I don't know her. Go and look for her. You said you would do anything to keep my daughter's love. How you sent him to her? Did I also send you to that open room next to you? You shamelessly sold your respect. I cannot take this. I will kill myself. Don't you die? 
Go ahead and keep this. I am ready, prepared to bury you. <laughs> much as I'm the one that advised you to go and live with him. Your father asked me to tell you to come back, please. Really? Well, go and tell my father that he's not going to stop me this time. Oh, my please! Jugo. Fortune teller. I do not want her in my house. How can she be real when her daughter is older than she is? She is ageless. Oh, that I can't care. Then something must break it. Mm. Eh? I can put my life on it. I can even put my blood on this. Something must break it. Yes. What are you telling me? I will help you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Leave me alone. What have I done? What have you not done? Do you think I don't know you go around the village asking only Matt Mary? Where did you hear that one from? Even if is she more beautiful than you, come on. She is, and you know it. Stop now, stop, stop. Even if she's beautiful, like you said, she's a daughter of nobody. Oh, Adugo! 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 You're one of the richest men in this village. But you don't behave as one. Why do you like following me around? You have captured my heart. Please, give me a chance. Okay, wait. Take this. I, I traveled to Umwaro and I told them to specially make this thing for you. You like it? Thank you. It's beautiful. I will make more for you if you give me a chance. I hope you will not break my heart. Am I mad? I won't break your heart. Okay? I'll protect it instead.
Uh -huh. Let me see how you will survive this. You must die. You must die this time around. Let me see. I love this place. Really? It's so beautiful. Like I told you, I'll get you more. And not just that. I and my parents will come and see your parents. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm so excited. Let me run along. I can give my father this. I'll see you soon. <laughs> see you soon. <laughs>
this just for you in here alone take me all just to me what this is for say you in love I'll have you before you have this cherished and I'll go. Finally, I found peace. <sighs> now, my child will not be without a father. <sighs> I will prepare a good meal for him. Yes. I'm not happy. What happened? The gods have finally smiled at me. The gods have finally smiled at you. How? Have you settled with to be married? You will hear the good news later. Hey! So she is still alive? Ordinary woman. I said it. I know. Hi. Mm. If I don't kill her, eh? If I don't kill this woman, I will not be happy all my life. I must kill her. I must kill her. Where do I take this food to? To his house or the bush? I hope I'm not doing something stupid. What if... What if he finds out that I'm carrying another man's child?
Hello. I brought food for you. What kind of food did you bring? Uba, you like it? I don't want to eat Uba. I should I prepare something else for you? Something else like what? Anything you like. <laughs> the love of my life is coming with the food I want to eat. If he's bringing the food. Hmm? I do go. What is going on here? Oh dear, it's calm. Ulema here brought food for me. Why? Why would you bring food for my man? So, so this is how wicked you can be. After, after, so after what? Say it now. After what? So you have been deceiving me. Ulema. Your mother collected a hundred young siblings for me. With the hope that you're going to marry me. What happened at all? She allowed you to marry a common transfer. I do not love him anymore. In fact, I never loved him. Stop lying, Ulima. I saw you in his house this morning. In fact, the whole village knows you are his. Stop it! <laughs> you think I don't know you're carrying a nearest child? <laughs> Us some space. You want to have a good time. Yeah. Broken in mass leaves. I say what <laughs> for you in the in the in the to steal my man from me. Eh? Do you remember? I came telling you, begging you that he loves you. But what did you say? You insisted that Opimere was the best man in this village. What is wrong with you? Have you taken your time to look at Indubisi? He has everything a woman would want in a man. What does he have? What? Seven bands that he inherited from his father. What are you saying? We are talking about one of the wealthiest men in this land. I do go. If you like him, go for him. Hmm? As for me, I am taking. It is Obi Mary. Oh no. Okay, no, no. Where is this from? It's 
someone very special sent to you. Someone special. I can guess. Messenger. Go back to him and tell him I do not need anything from him. And also tell him that he is not special. I wish I had a man that will have my time like he does. He's a caring man. He's a caring man. I do not need it. Hmm? Let me go home and take care of my sick mother. Wait! Here you are crying like a baby. Anyway, Ndubisi is taking wine to my father tomorrow. You can cry as much as you can. <laughs> Mother, this will be your price for everything bad you have done. To be said that Ulima took her own life and the gods will make her suffer all her life. Let me help you with the room. Let me. <laughs> she doesn't want to die. How could you even try to take your own life? Are you stupid? Are you stupid? When you die, Opimere and his wife will walk around your, your own grave. <laughs> You're right. What, what do I do? Ulema, you are a beautiful woman. Very beautiful. If you don't want to be his third wife, then you can't wait for the gods to bless you with a man. Do you think it's right for me to be his third wife? Yes. You know you might just be the first to give him a male child. Thank you very much. Thank you. to be my very good friend. <sighs> the charm did not work on her. So that stupid Dibia gave me impotent charm that has refused to work on Ojuko. Oh, I have to do something. To do something. What do we do? What do we do? You and your mother started this, and you are here asking me what do we do? Hey, Ulima. No, I have a solution. I have visited a strong medicine man who told me what to do. To you. I don't need your help. Well, I'll go home. Thank <laughs> you.
Do not look at me like that. I've come to live with my man. And who is your man? Obi! Obi, I am here! Are you here to live with your man too? Mba, mba. Don't ask me stupid question. I am okay, the girl's daughter. I have come to live with my man alone. <coughs> he is my man. And nobody will share with me. Mm -mm. You cannot give him the kind of love I gave him. Only I can give him the kind of love I give to him. That's my man. Obi. What is going on here? Oh, my love. Please come and show me my place in your house. Oh, Obi. Can't call up Papa Moo. 